in the camp, a friend from my hometown had come and said, do you know who has betrayed you? And I said, no. And she told me of this man. His name was Jan Vogel. And I remember him. He had come to the Baye, and he told me a story that he had a, a wife who hides Jewish people, but, but she was arrested. But a certain policeman would run the risk to set her free for 600 guilders. And I said, oh, I have no money, but what does money mean if it means to save the life of a good woman? I said, I will ask my friends. You come later, and I will have that money for you. And you see, the Gestapo had asked him to find out if Cory ten Boom hides Jewish people. And he thought, I can do it, and I can make some money. And he made some money, but he betrayed my family. After the war, he was in prison and sentenced to die because he had caused the death of many Dutch people. So I wrote him a letter, and I wrote him, you have caused the death of four of my family members, and you have caused me much personal suffering in three different prisons. But I have forgiven you because I am a Christian. And you could ask God to forgive you for what you have done. And very soon, I know you are to die, you could go to one of those mansions that Jesus have gone to prepare. I sent him a New Testament with that way of salvation underlined. I received back from that man a letter. Oh, that your God could allow you such a love to forgive me. Then I must also accept him. One week later, that man was killed. But God had used me, who had hated that man, to bring that man to himself. And the Bible is very clear. If we do not forgive, we have no forgiveness. But the great joy is he gives you the love he demands of you. Forgiveness is a great joy. It is the key that unlocks the door of resentment and those handcuffs of hatred. It is the power that breaks those chains of bitterness and the shackles of selfishness. We never so much touch the ocean of God's love as when we forgive our enemies. 